Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. In today's tutorial, we're making an oversized sweater. This one was inspired by an old favorite, but with a few new twists. It's big, it's comfy, and ready for all the color combinations. Speaking of, if you're looking to make a sweater your way, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of highly customizable crochet tutorials and patterns, with even more dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on with the show, so without further ado... For this project, any category of four yarn will work but I used a total of 800 grams of yarn, and that's 1,500 yards if you're stateside, and the individual measurements will be on the screen. As for tools, a six millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you enjoy spicy or mild food. I love my spicy food, but not when it's too hot that you can't taste anything anymore. That's the absolute worst. <laughs> Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 6mm hook and start off by making a chain that starts at the base of our neck, down to like the bottom of the sweater to be, keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. Now I would like for mine to be fairly oversized, so at the top of my thigh. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 75, and that's roughly 20 and a half inches or 52 centimeters. And I actually already have this portion of my front panel already complete, so I'm just going to be doing a small sample size with you. So now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. Now that chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, and we're just going to do a half double crochet row. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. Pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three. That is our first half double, let's do one more. Yarn over, into that next stitch, pull through, pull through all three. And that's it. We're all going to continue with one half double crochet into every chain to reach the end of the row. Now everyone's row one should be complete. So let's get started on our row two, which is more half double crochets, but now within the back loops. So chain two and flip. All we're going to do from here is yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. We're all going to find that first stitch from our previous row and insert our hook into that back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us, with a half double crochet. And that's basically it. We're going to continue on with this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. Then at the end of the row, chain two flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch again. From here we're just going to continue to repeat our back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases until we have a width that we like for the front panel to be. Now this is going to be completely up to you but the style that we are doing is oversized so I'm measuring roughly from mid bicep across my chest to mid bicep. And then once we have this portion completed do not do a chain up of one and cut so we can work straight into our single crochet row together right after that. So we are back with the width of my front panel. Now I have a total of 46 rows. My width is roughly 20 inches or 51 centimeters. And now we're going to single crochet across the top. So first things first, we're going to chain one. And then all we're going to do is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So here's my first side row. I'm going to find that top loop and start with just one single crochet. Now this is my following side row. I'm going to find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there's one and then into that same top loop with a second. Let's do this again. 
Here's my following side row. I'm going to find that top loop and insert with just one single. This is my following side row. I'm going to find that top loop and insert with my second single crochet. And that's basically it. We're going to continue doing this until we don't have any more side rows left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up one and cut, and then we're going to repeat the same single crochet row along the bottom. So insert your hook into the bottom corner stitch, and then working into our side rows, again alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. I'll meet you guys back once when both of these single crochet rows are complete. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up our single crochet row across the top of our front panel. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last stitch. And now what we're going to do is start to working on the shoulders. But before we do that, we're all going to need to insert our stitch marker into the stitches that we have that is on either side of the base of our neck. Now for those of you that have my numbers, I counted in a total of 25 stitches from both ends and inserted my stitch marker. We want to make sure that these are even on both sides. And from our stitch marker to the edge, it's roughly 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Now from here, we're going to grab our secondary color yarn, and now we can get started with the shoulder. Now making sure that our single crochet that we just did, we're looking at the pretty side, not the back side. The pretty side is the front of the single crochet row. We're going to insert our hook into the right corner stitch. So now that our hook is into the top right corner stitch, we're now going to insert our secondary color yarn and do a single crochet row until we reach our stitch marker. So we're going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And just to do the first one, we're all going to start by finding that next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Once more into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two with our second single crochet so far and continue this until we reach our stitch marker. So we made our way down with our single crochet row. And now from here, we're going to work our way back with our half double crochet row. So right after that last stitch, we're all going to chain two and flip. And from here, just put one half double crochet into every stitch. We are back and our half double crochet row is complete. Now for the remainder of the height of our shoulder, we're now going to be doing front and back post double crochet rows to get some really nice texture. So from where we're at, we're all going to chain two and flip. So to do our first front post double crochet, we're all going to start by yarning over. And then we're going to insert our hook underneath the body of our second half double crochet from our previous row. So not this edge, but this second right here. And what we're going to do is bring our hook down, finding that half double crochet, inserting our hook underneath the body of that stitch, and through the other side. Then from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through to get a total of three loops on our hook. Then we're going to double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. That is our first front post double crochet completed. Now we're going to do a back post. So yarn over. We're now going to bring our hook underneath our work. So bring our hook down underneath our work, and then we're going to work over the body of that next half double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook in through that next gap that we have, then over the body of that next half double crochet, and then in through the other gap. Then yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is our back post. Let's do another set together. Our following stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. So yarn over. Bring your hook down, and underneath the body of that following half double crochet, we're going to bring our hook down, underneath, and through the other side. Then yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. That's our front post. Let's do a back post. Yarn over. Now bring your hook underneath your work. In through that next gap. Over the body of that next half double crochet. And through the other side. Then we're going to yarn over. And pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. And all together we should have a front post, a back post, a front post, and a back post. Let's do another front and back post together, just a little bit faster. So yarn over. Bring your hook down underneath the body of that next half double. Pull through. Pull through two. Pull through two. Then yarn over. Bring your hook underneath our work. Over that next half double, through the other side, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two, and that's it. 
we're going to continue doing our front and back post double crochets until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. We made our way all the way down with our row three and that's just our front and back post double crochets. We are worked into that last stitch and all we're gonna do is half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over. Just into that last gap, we're going to insert with one half double just to secure everything down. Now just as a really quick tip, we should all have the same amount of stitches as single crochets when we got started on our shoulder portion. Now to get started on our row four, all we're gonna do is chain two and flip. And all we're gonna do for the rest of our rows is extend our previous row stitches. So the first stitch may be a little bit different for everyone, but just as an example, my first stitch here looks like a back post double crochet, so I will be doing a back post double crochet. But if yours looks like a front post double crochet, that's not wrong either, but you are going to be doing a front post double crochet, like I said, to extend our previous row stitches. So I'm just gonna do my following two stitches with you guys and let you do the rest of this portion on your own. So yarn over. Mine looks like a back post, so I will be doing a back post. I'm gonna yarn over, bring my hook underneath that first stitch, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then my next stitch looks like a front post, so yarn over. Underneath my previous row's front post, I'll be doing another front post, and you guys can kind of see that it's extending the previous row's ribbing. That's basically it. We are gonna make sure that we close off each of these rows with a half double crochet, like we did for our previous row. Then just continue to repeat this row, so basically just extending our previous row stitches, until this portion that we have reaches from the base of our neck because that's where the body portion ended all the way until we reach the top of our shoulder. Now once we do, do a chain up of one and cut and then we are gonna repeat the same thing that we did here on the other side, but before you get started, I'll meet you guys back just to show you where you're gonna insert your hook. So we are back. I have just finished up my shoulder portion. Now including my single crochet row with my secondary color yarn, I have a total of six rows and this height is roughly two and a half inches or six centimeters and I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. Now, like I said, all we're gonna do from here is repeat everything we did here on the other side, but because we wanna show the front of the single crochet to keep this as clean as possible, all we're gonna do is insert our hook into the stitch that's next to our left stitch marker stitch, because on this side, we didn't work into our stitch marker, and then we can repeat. So one single crochet into every stitch working towards the outside, then our half double crochet row, and then our front and back post double crochet rows for the same amount of rows that we have on this side. Once we have the same amount of rows, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will meet you guys back. We are back. We have just finished up the left shoulder portion, and now from here, we're just going to single crochet along the sides with our secondary color yarn. So first things first, we're going to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, so the front of the single crochet rows should be faced up towards us, and we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into the top left corner because we wanna show the front of this single crochet that we're about to do as well. Now what we're all going to do from here is insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Now since we started along the top, we have a bunch of side rows to work into. So we are gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. And we're saying half double crochet because the stitches on the edge should be half double crochets. So start by finding that first side row. I'm gonna insert my hook in through that top loop with one single crochet. This is my following side row. Insert my hook in through there with two single crochets. So there's one into the same top loop with a second. Now into each of our side half double crochets, continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Then when we reached our two side single crochet rows, we should have one for our secondary color and one for our primary color. One single crochet is gonna be worked into each of those. So into our secondary colored side row, I'm gonna find that top loop with just one single. And then into my primary colored top loop, insert with one single, and then from here, just put one single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end of the row, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so our single crochet row along the edge of our front panel is complete on the left side, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did here on the right, but instead of inserting our hook into the top corner, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the bottom corner because again, we wanna show the front of the single crochet to make all this as clean as possible. So just making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, all we're gonna do is insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of the right panel. 
then repeat. So just one single crochet into every stitch, one single crochet into every side single crochet row, and then once we reach the ribbed rows, alternate between one to two single crochets and it's all with our secondary color yarn. When we have that complete, remember the amount of single crochets that we just did because that's gonna come in handy for the back panel. All right, so we are back. The single crochet rows along both sides of our front panel are complete. And now the entirety of our front panel is finished. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our back. Now I actually already have my back panel completed, so I'm just gonna be talking you guys through it. So what we're gonna do is taking our primary color yarn, we're all gonna start by making a chain for the same amount of stitches that we did for the single crochet row that we just finished along the edge of our piece. So for those of you that have my numbers, I had a total of 85 stitches. So for my back panel, I'm gonna start by making a chain 85. Then from there, we just did back loop half double crochet rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases for the same exact amount of rows that we had for the front panel. Then we went in with the same single crochet row that we did along the top and the bottom. So just as a really quick refresher, our back panel is going to be the same length as the total of the front panel because we are counting that shoulder length as well. Then once when we have finished up single crocheting along the edge of our back panel, we're then gonna do another single crochet row with our secondary color yarn across the top. So once we did a chain up of one and cut with our primary color yarn, I'm going to insert my hook. We're all gonna make sure that the front of our single crochet row is faced up towards us. And then we're gonna be inserting a hook into the top right corner stitch. Then with our secondary color yarn, just put one single crochet into every stitch. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do not do a chain up of one and cut because then I'll meet you back so we can work straight into the side from there. So now that we have finished up our single crochet row with our secondary color yarn, since we're all the way to the left corner stitch, now is the perfect time to work on our single crochet row that works all the way down the sides, just like how we did for the front panel. So since we still wanna show the front of our single crochet row, all we're gonna do is just put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, and then we are gonna do a single crochet row on the right side as well. But since we still wanna show the fronts of our single crochet rows, we're gonna be inserting a hook into the bottom corner stitch of the right and then work our way up. Once we finished up our single crochet rows along both sides with our secondary color yarn, I will meet you guys back so you can seam the shoulders. Alrighty, so we are back. Now that our front and back panel are completely finished, we're now gonna get started on our shoulder seam. So first things first, we're gonna make sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up. So like I said, the right side is the front of our single crochet rows. And then we're gonna insert our hook into the top corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Then we're going to pull our secondary color yarn through because that's the color that we want our piping to be. In chain one, then we're gonna do a single crochet seam. So start by inserting our hook into that first stitch into the front panel, first stitch into the back panel, and then we're going to single crochet around everything. So pull through, pull through two. Let's do that again. Next stitch into the front, next stitch into the back, and single. And we're just gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat everything that we did here on the other side. Alrighty, so we are back. We have just finished up seaming both of our shoulder portions, and now we're gonna get straight into the collar. We aren't gonna seam the sides just yet. So what we're gonna do is make sure that the work is flipped right side out, right side up, meaning all of the seams that we just did are along the outside. And then from here, with our secondary color yarn, we're going to do a single crochet row along our neckline. So what we're gonna do is whenever we run into any side rows, so along the shoulder, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into each of those side rows. Then just one single crochet into every stitch and just make our way all the way around. So let's get started on our first few side rows right here. So making sure that we're working clockwise, we're all gonna start by finding our first side row right here. I'm gonna insert my hook in through there with one, with two single crochets. Again, this is my next side row. Insert my hook in through there with two single crochets again. So there's one, there is two. And we're just gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more of these side rows left to work into. Then once we reach our regular stitches, just one single crochet into every stitch. We're gonna continue this row, making our way all the way around. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back so we can get started with our primary color yarn. But just as a really quick tip, this single crochet row is going to be as wide as our neckline can stretch. 
So once when it's completed, make sure you try on your piece, making sure that everything is still fitting nicely. If it's too tight, reduce some stitches with a looser grip, or if it's too loose, reduce some stitches with a tighter grip. But either way, I'll meet you back when this row is completed. So our single crochet row with our secondary color yarn is complete. Now we're going to get started on our collar with our primary color yarn. So start by inserting your hook into any one of the stitches and then do a single crochet row with our primary color yarn. Just one single crochet is going to be worked into every stitch, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain space and then I'll meet you back so we can get started on the length of our collar. So now that our single crochet row is complete with our primary color yarn, we're now going to make a chain the length that we like for our collar to be. Now I'd like for mine to be just about an inch or two centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain five. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do a slip stitch row. So block off that last chain and do a chain one. Now that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then into that chain that we blocked off with the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch. So into that chain, we're going to insert our hook. Then yarn over and gently pull through everything on our hook. That's our first slip stitch. Let's do that again. Into that next chain, insert, yarn over, and gently pull through everything, and that's it. We're just going to continue this until we don't have any more chains left. So now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to connect it into the base. So just start by finding that next available stitch into the base, slip stitch into there. So insert, pull through everything. Now that slip stitch into the base doesn't count as a stitch, we just need it to connect. Then we're going to work our way up to the following row. Slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So finding the last stitch from our previous row, not those slip stitches into the base, insert into that back loop. When we have those two loops, yarn over, gently pull through everything on our hook, once more, into that next stitch's back loop, insert, Yarn over, pull through everything, and continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, remembering not to tug too tightly after every stitch, otherwise the following row will be too tight to work into. Then once we reach the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, and I'll meet you back at the base just once more. We are back and we should all have one, two, three rows nearly finished. Now we're just going to connect it into the base. So again, just like our previous row, finding that next stitch into the base, slip stitch it into there. That slip stitch still doesn't count as a stitch. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, flip our work, and then again, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and that's it. From here, we're just gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows with no increases and no decreases until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, I'll meet you back so we can seam up our collar together. All right, we are back. We've made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows, and now we're going to seam it together. Now this seam is going to be an outside loop slip stitch seam to make it look like another back loop slip stitch row. So what we're gonna do is start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything. And just to do the first view, we're all gonna start by finding that first stitch into the front panel and insert only in through that front loop then find that next stitch into the back panel and insert only in through that back loop. Then when we have those three loops on our hook, just yarn over and pull through all three. Let's do one more. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop. Next stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through all three, and that's it. Continue on with this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. Now that we have the collar completed, the next thing we're going to start working on is our sleeve. Now the sleeve is going to be worked off of the body and then we're going to seam everything together later. So what we're all going to do is start off by making a chain the length that we'd like for our sleeve to be. So go ahead and try on your piece and then estimate roughly where you'd like the bottom of the sleeve to be and then make a chain from there that reaches down to your wrist. Now I measured roughly 14 inches or 36 centimeters. So with my secondary color yarn, because we're starting with the bottom of the sleeve first, I'm going to start by making a chain 50 but I actually already have my sleeves all completed, so I'm just gonna do a small sample size with you. Now that we have our chain, we're all gonna do a half double crochet row back. So block off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then from here, we're gonna yarn over. Insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. 
with a half double crochet and continue with one half double crochet into every chain. Now that everyone's row one is complete, we're going to do front and back post double crochet rows now for some texture. So chain two and flip. Now it's going to be done pretty much the same way our shoulder detail is done, so let's do this together. We're all going to yarn over preparing for a front post double crochet. Finding the second half double crochet from our previous row, we're not going to be worked into that first one. We're going to bring our hook down underneath the body of that second half double crochet and through the other side. Then we're going to pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Then we're going to do a back post. So again, yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work over that next half double crochet and through the other side, pull through, pull through two and pull through two. And that's it. We're going to continue on with our front and back post double crochets to reach the end of the row. Now I have reached the end of my very small sample row and just to make sure that everything is secured down, just like how we did for the shoulder, we're going to close off the row with just one half double crochet into the edge of that row. And that's it. From here, we're going to chain two, flip our work. And just like how we did for the shoulders, we're going to be extending our previous row stitches. So just as a refresher, my first stitch right here looks like a back post. So I will be doing a back post into there. But if yours looks like a front post, that's completely fine as well. You will be doing a front post. Now my following stitch looks like a front post. So now I will be doing a front post and that's it. We're just going to continue on extending our previous row stitches until we get a height that we'd like for this detail to be for our sleeve. So really for this portion, you can make this as long or as short as you'd like. So as you all can see, my detail is completed for one of my sleeves. I have a total of four rows. My height is roughly two inches or five centimeters. Right after that last row, I did do a chain up of one and cut. Then I inserted my hook into that corner stitch again, and then just did back loop half double crochet rows until we got the total height that we'd like for our sleeve to be with our primary color yarn. So this portion isn't gonna have any increases or decreases. Now, just to let you guys know, for the entire height of my sleeve, I had a total of 22 rows. We do need to end on an even number, and this height is roughly 10 inches or 26 centimeters. But once when you have the entirety of your sleeve completed, I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the single crochet edges along the side of our sleeves. Alrighty, so I am back. The entirety of my sleeve is complete. So now all we're going to do is single crochet along the edges to make it cleaner so that once we seam it all together, it looks nice. So what we're all gonna do from here is chain one and flip. Now this part's gonna be fairly simple. Into the primary color section of our sleeve, we're gonna be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So just to do the first one, find that first side row, insert into that top loop with one single crochet, find that following top loop, and insert into there with two single crochets. We're gonna continue doing this, making our way all the way down, and once we're worked into our last side row that is our primary color, before we do our last single crochet, I'll meet you guys back just to show you how we're gonna switch out to our secondary color yarn. So I am back and I'm now ready to work into my secondary color portion of my sleeve. And now I'm just gonna show you guys how we're gonna switch out our colors. So we should all have just one more single crochet left to do when it comes to our primary color. So what we're gonna do is get started on that last single crochet, but we are not gonna finish it with our primary color yarn. All we're gonna do is insert our hook, yarn over and pull through. Then with our secondary color yarn, we're gonna make a slip knot, insert that slip knot onto our hook, then we're going to pull through with our secondary color yarn and the following stitch is going to be done with our secondary color. But what we can do from here is cut the colored yarn that we aren't working anymore. So right now it's our primary color. Then we can tie our two tail ends together and then continue alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you back. Now the first single crochet row that we have along the side of our sleeve is complete. Now, since we want the piping to be done with our secondary color yarn, just to make sure that everything is as clean as possible, we're gonna be doing another single crochet row, but now with our secondary color yarn. So go ahead and insert your hook into that first stitch that we made for our previous single crochet row, because remember we do wanna show the front of our single crochet rows. Then just put one single crochet into every stitch and then do a chain up of one and cut. Then once we have that secondary colored single crochet row completed, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
but since we do need to show the front of the singles, we're going to be inserting our hook into a different place. So making sure that the side of our sleeve with the single crochets that we just finished is along the left, we are now going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner of the right side of our sleeve. So that should be the ribbed end. And then we're going to start with our secondary color yarn, since this is our secondary color yarn here and then continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Switch out our colors to our primary color yarn and then do a chain up of one and cut once we don't have any more side rows left. Then a second single crochet row with our secondary color yarn. After that, do a chain up of one and cut. And then once we have that completed, we're gonna be doing a total of four of these sleeve panels and then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam everything together. Alrighty, so we are back. I have just finished up all of my sleeve panels and now we're ready to seam it to our body. So first, let's take a look at the body. So what we're all going to do is count out the amount of stitches that we have along the edge of our sleeve. It should be the same on both sides and for all four of our sleeve panels. Once we have that number, it's 33 for me. Then taking a look at the body, we're all going to insert our stitch marker into that number of stitches from the top. So, making sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning the seam that we have for the shoulders is along the outside. From the top, count out the amount of stitches that you just figured out, so for me that was 33, and inserted that into both the front and back panel. Then we're going to start with our single crochet seam until we reach our stitch marker. So we're all going to start by inserting a hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and back panel. Then we're going to do our single crochet seam, making our way all the way up, so the same seam that we did for the shoulders until we reach our stitch marker. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can attach the sleeve to the body. All right, so we are back. We've made our way all the way up with our single crochet seam until we have reached our stitch marker. Now what we're going to do from here is introduce our sleeve. So what we're gonna do is make sure that our sleeve is placed right side up, meaning we're showing the front of the single crochet row because we want everything to be pretty. Then what we're going to also do is make sure that the ribbing for the sleeve is towards the bottom of our piece because this is the bottom detail. And then into our stitch marker stitch, and then into the first stitch that we have into the side of our sleeve, we're going to do a single crochet seam, basically the same way that we did this one over here. So making sure that we're inserting our hook only into the front panel of the body. We don't wanna be closing everything together. And then into that first stitch into the sleeve, we are going to single crochet. That's pretty much it. Let's do this again, even though we already know how to do our single crochet seam. Into that next stitch, into the body, into that next stitch, into the sleeve, and single crochet. And that's it. We're just gonna continue on with this, making our way all the way up until we don't have any more sleeve stitches left to work into, which should be right at our shoulder seam. And then I'll meet you back so that we can connect the other side of our sleeve. We've made our way all the way up with one side of our sleeve. We're now going to flip our work over and then I'll show you how we're gonna connect the other side of our sleeve. Now we have flipped our work over. We're looking at the open side of the body portion now and same rules apply basically for our other sleeve panel. We're gonna make sure that our single crochet row, the front is faced up towards us, the ribbing is towards the bottom of our piece and then we're just going to do another single crochet seam. So since we're worked into the last stitch on this side, we're just going to find that next stitch into the body, into the next stitch, into the sleeve, and then do our single crochet seam per usual. So the top and the bottom will still be open at this point. And we're just gonna continue on with this, making our way all the way down. Then we'll reach the side seam when we don't have any more stitches left. We will slip stitch it into any one of the stitches into the corner, and then I'll meet you back so we can seam up the bottom all at the same time. So we have just made our way down the other side of our sleeve. Now we're going to just do our single crochet seam along the bottom of our sleeve. Well, we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam along the top as well. So we are back. We have just finished up single crocheting the bottom of our sleeve, and now we're going to seam our top. So this is gonna be done pretty much the same way as all of our other sleeves. Just make sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up. Insert your hook into the last shoulder seam that we have just so that we don't have any disruptions when it comes to the seam along the top. And then we're just going to continue on with our single crochet seam so we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you back. All right, so we have just finished up seaming our entire sleeve and now we're ready to do our cuff. The length of our cuff is gonna be done with our primary color yarn. So make sure that your work is zipped right side out, right side up. 
we're going to be inserting our hook into any one of our stitches along the edge of our sleeve and all we're going to do is one single crochet into every other stitch just so we can get this to cinch a little bit. So we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Do a chain up of one to secure and then just into that same stitch that our chain is in, insert with a single crochet. We are going to skip the following stitch and into the next with another single crochet. Skip a stitch and then single and continue on with this making our way all the way around. So our single crochet row is complete. Now we're going to do a half double crochet row and that's just going to be one half double crochet into every stitch. So right after we have slip stitched into that chain space, all we're going to do is yarn over into that first stitch with a half double. And I'll meet you back at the end of this row. All right, so we made our way all the way around with our half double crochet row and now we're going to close it off. So how we're going to close off each of these rows now is all we're going to do is slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we start off this row. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second chain, and now this is complete. Now from here, it's going to be front and back post double crochet rows, kind of like how we did the shoulders and the detail along the sleeve until we get the length of the cuff that we want. So I'm not going to bore you guys with those details since we already know how to do those, but all we're going to do is chain two, then just alternate between front and back post double crochets, making your way all the way around. Slip stitch into that second chain that we made, just like how we did, and then we're just going to be extending our previous row stitches so that we get a really nice ribbing, just like how we have for the sleeve and the shoulder, until we get the length of the cuff that we want. Once we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back. We are back. I have just finished up my cuff, and I am all done, so I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now I did a total of seven rows. That's counting my first single crochet row with our primary color. This is roughly three inches or eight centimeters. Once we have one sleeve all finished up, we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And then once we have both of them completed, we can finish up our piece with our bottom band. Now our bottom band is gonna be done pretty much the same way that we did the cuff. So I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. We are gonna want a little outline with our secondary color yarn. So we're gonna start with a single crochet, just putting one single crochet into every stitch with our secondary color yarn, then do a chain up of one and cut. Then working with our primary color yarn, we're then going to do a single crochet row, a half double crochet row, and then do our front and back post double crochet rows, and just continuing to extend those stitches until we get the length of the bottom band that we'd like. Once we have the entirety of the bottom band all finished up, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so we are back. My bottom band is all complete. Now counting from my first single crochet row with my primary color yarn, I have a total of six rows. This length is roughly two and a half inches or six centimeters. I did do a chain up of one and cut. And once we have that completed, we are all done. Last thing you're gonna wanna do is just weave in all of your ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one. Bye.